Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We got we got some stuff to t cover in this video, mainly because I, I want that clicks, baby. You know, everyone's talking about this. What's going on with Bloxfruits, alright? <laughs> I want that clicks. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna I'm actually gonna make a pretty good video. I have like some things planned out for this video. So you know the deal. Like, subscribe, comment, everything. And here's the fit of the day. We got the red or the blue hoodie, blue hat, red sunglasses. Well, actually, I've had this fit since uh yesterday's upload so uh you know what? i'm just gonna keep it it's kind of a serious video today but yeah what is going on with blocks for it's all right because we have this game that started in like 2019 i played it in 2020 a little bit i didn't play it ever since and now i'm on the grind for blocks fruits trying to get to max level as soon as possible all while making very entertaining videos and expanding my channel more and more each day so thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in Blocks Roots is one of my most favorite games on, on Roblox in general, you know? I really like the idea of having the anime One Piece adapted into its own game in Roblox in such a like great detail too. We have the first C, the second C, and the third C all like um all in different places. And while not everything is like uh what's it called? Faithful to the anime itself, I do really love how it, it's just like so adaptive adaptive in its way. <laughs> That also makes it fun and and you know even for my age you know i'm like i'm i'm like close to leaving high school i'm i'm doing sports and all that you know i still find the time to play this game and enjoy it or at least i used to you know here's something i said about the combat system with blocks roots and how it is affecting the basically just basically like everything like and how it just doesn't make it fun anymore so yeah basically all you really need to do is just grab like a, a beast type fruit and some hockey and you're good to go like that doesn't even make the game fun anymore you know and while i do appreciate the fact that i was given kitsune i, I didn't buy it myself and like I'm, I'm forever grateful to ejo for giving it to me if i want to pvp in the game i always have this option now i don't even have to like get like i don't have to grind for like awakened sand or awakened dark get like my my sword stats up or everything like i, I just have to like you know turn on my beast type put on like max level do the stupid transformation and i'm, I'm good you know and honestly, I'm sick of it. I'm I, I'm actually sick of it. I'm I'm sick of like you know coming here over here by the cafe wanting to PvP with people. Either they do portal and CDK or or like beast type like oh leopard with with basic sword or just like just like plain old Kitsune doesn't make the game fun anymore because you can't really do anything about it no matter how good you are at the game there's always going to be a Kitsune user who will just come over here is like oh I have three tails now I can go max. So yeah, combat system in the game really needs to be changed, you know, they need to nerf Kitsune, despite the fact that I, I paid good, well, I didn't pay, but like, you know, it's $40, Dragon Rework's gonna be $50, it needs to be nerfed somehow. But do you think that these Blockstreet's devs are actually gonna listen to me? No. First of all, I'm a, I'm, I'm a channel with like 2,000 subscribers at this day, and also they're too busy just like rolling in cash to care, they're, you know, they're, 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 what's it called, their ears are just blocked by all the fat hundreds in there, like, in their ears. So yeah, until like the main devs are too, like, are done wiping their asses with $100 bills, I don't think there's gonna be any like changes with the combat style, we're gonna stick with Kitsune here, it's gonna be boring. Also T-Rex transformation, Leopard, uh, Leopard transformation, and the Dragon Rework coming in, you best believe that this game is gonna be the most boring thing possible. And what sucks is that, you know, the videos that do well for me are only Bloxford's video. I can't make a, uh, I can't make a, like, a decent video about another game. I had one video about Dragon Soul that did well, but even Dragon Soul, I don't even like it. It's kind of, it's like, it sucks. Bloxford's, I feel, is better, but just like, look, look at this game, man. This is so old! This feels like, okay, come on, man. Like, not only is the combat system ruined, but we also have the, the update problem, right? Let's get into that right now. The update problem. Where do I even start, man? Man, like we have waited how long now all right so they announced that there was going to be two parts to the blocks roots winter update where there's going to be one part and that was that was later revealed to be kitsune which i have here right now the other one nobody even knows what it is because they haven't released it yet it's probably just they're probably just gonna like say oh it's dragon guys it's the dragon rework but no that's not what was advertised dragon rework was advertised long before the winter update was advertised so they have basically no reason as to why they're just they're, they're doing this crap you know i've said this in old videos before i understand that the blocks roots developers are like you know fresh out of high school they are just starting to get into college pursuing their careers that is very respectable 
but at the same time, you guys are developing the, one of the largest games in Roblox. You guys have more than 500,000 consecutive players daily. I don't think I've ever seen it gone below 100,000. Like, it's never been like 80,000, 70,000. No, it's always been over like at least 200,000. And you guys still, like, and you guys somehow still find a way to put out like the laziest updates possible or not put out updates at all you know and it sucks because this game has so much potential to be even greater than it is you know and if, if all the blocksmith developers care about is money then they can just make more updates and get more money by that they can get more developers that have more free time on their hands more accessibility to their tools and more experience in general and make even more money with more constant updates coming out because this game definitely has potential to be one of the greatest games in roblox and i love this game because i can't really make videos about anything else like i can't just like get on rust and be like guys i'm playing rust and everyone in the world will watch it no rust is a very by the bones game you know you do something you make a base you get raided you quit blocks fruits there's so much ideas to make in this game and it's, it's honestly really fun but there's only so much ideas a man can make and like there's there's only so much before the, the game starts updating itself it's like it's like the earth all right i'm gonna i'm gonna say something weird here the earth is constantly changing constantly expanding we we have like you know throughout the past 30 years there's been the industrial revolution we've had like you know the banks like the economy system fall and rise then like again and again we've had changes that have like sparked new ideas to come out like more ways to make money more ways to pursue your career more ways to do this you know that's what life is all about for me finding new ideas and and just working with it and seeing the best i can do possible but blocks fruits stays the same for months because they, they've done this in the past too. They've done it with V4. They're like, hey guys, we're actually working on Cyborg V4. And we, we, can't, we can't upload it at this time. So you're going to have to wait for five more months until we upload it. And you know what the worst part is for me? With all of these updates and all these combat system problems and everything going on with the developers. The worst part is when I go onto Twitter, I open it up and I see this Oh my gosh, look, we go down like a 4K shot of the Eclipse captured in Blocks Fruits. And then we have this Dragon Plus heart emoji. What does this mean, guys? Look, he's firing up a fireball. It's like, guys, it's coming very soon, guys. The Dragon Rework's coming very soon. Oh, wait, this was uploaded in December 15th? That's when they started working on this Dragon Rework? Well, well, it's April 25th now. You know, months almost over. Where's the Dragon Rework? Let's see the next upload about the Dragon Rework we see. And it's March 16th. What are you doing? You have enough money. You have enough accessibility. You have enough technology to get this done the king's roar wow have you ever wondered what the fire rings represent and then like yeah he's uploading these things he's he, like he's uploaded more recently but still it's been it's been Mar since march 30 it's april 25th now so we've been waiting well we've been waiting a month for an upload we got this guy shaffy i think this guy uploads more prevalently yeah like okay he reposts some things and uh, oh wait he doesn't he okay never mind yeah that was that was one one no, not a little month ago, January 1st. King's Legacy, I should probably start playing this game. This game is more, like, recently updated. Pe like, people like this game more. Look at look at the effects on this game, man. Maybe if they change the UI to make it look less, like, weird, I, I would play that. Well, of course I'm gonna play this game eventually, but, like, honestly, I'm gonna start playing this game because Blocks Roots is, like, yeah, like, look at that. It's, that's awesome. And it honestly makes me really sad to think about it because, like, I love Blocks Roots and I don't want it to, like, go down this hill where, like, before it's too late and before they start like not uploading in like a year new updates everyone's gonna quit the game and it's not gonna become popular anymore because blocks fruits is one of the most evergreen content uh content streams out there you can make as many content as you want but it's not only about the content it's about the game itself is blocks fruits even fun you just grind all day man like it's not like how what do you do there's not even a pvp system where you can pvp for fun it's just grinding like fruit battlegrounds is better all right yeah and then like the yeah this this system sucks as well okay no I'm, I'm going a little bit off tangent blocks Fruits is obviously like a pretty solid game in itself there's just like like not that much to do once you get to like second c you get a good fruit and all that you can pvp if you want but then like that's about it blocks Fruits easily has enough time and like development team and well they need to hire more development team but they have the, also the money to do that they can just create new updates new systems to the game new schematics new everything 
to make this game that much more fun but like for some reason they're just they're just not doing it you know i remember when i first went to the third sea i thought like i, th I thought there was a shining hope that there was going to be like at least a new mechanic to this game i go in there and I, I see like a little wheel here like oh my gosh no way that's a lot of changes man i really like this game now because they added a wheel to this corner and you know what i'm just like you know i'm disappointed because i spent money on this game i spent a lot of time on this game they obviously don't care enough about this game so why should i continue playing it you know i should find another source of content to make that you guys will enjoy and i can make good views off of but honestly i do believe in the blocksbridge developers that they may start taking this game a little bit more seriously than they they currently do you know 600,000 people playing right now yeah like that's that's like 600,000 you know i think that's more people like that's more than the people that went to the taylor swift concert or whatever like the, the the tours you know you guys have a you guys have a massive responsibility on your hands you know maybe it's finally it's time to start taking it seriously developers if any developer watches this video my message to you is don't take the opportunity you've been given lightly you know you have a game where people literally buy like two thousand dollar fruits daily that's a good like twenty dollars there for you for well not for like you but for like the, the game specifically but then it will be distributed to you and i'm not just saying it like oh one person buys twenty dollars no like more like two thousand people two thousand people more like two thousand people buy twenty dollars worth of fruits that's like what more than two hundred thousand dollars right there that's somebody's yearly salary that you guys are making in this one game that all you do is hit people and hit npcs and you guys are treating it like like oh we don't have to do anything we can like we we can be content with the money we have right now and just make updates like way later when we feel like it this is not a game this is a responsibility well th this is a video game but like it's it's like a big video game you know if you guys really want this game to be like a more exclusive game with no updates and all that kind of stuff just make the game pay to play make Make it like like 500 robux to play and you get the full game you get all three c's and you still have to buy all the permanent stuff so that you guys can make even more money if you guys really care that much but yeah that is my message to the blocks roots devs i hope you guys enjoyed this video we will be uploading more creative content in the future not only blocks roots but some other stuff just you know please help me out and help me what like you know help me by watching those videos hitting the like button subscribing commenting sharing everything you guys can do it will it, it, it will really help me out I don't know why I'm talking like I'm stuttering, you know, I usually talk normally in my videos, but thank you so much for watching, and, you know, God bless. God bless you guys, have a good day under God's name, alright? See you.